We're not bigger than we I thought am. you were gonna like this. Like I do, I just like this bread. A choice. We thought you might want a bubble. A little personal space bubble. Hi. Hi. Hey, how's it going? Good. <laughs> So we all miss the panel because we've been doing press stuff. So what can you tell us from the panel? We know about the T2 coming on board. <laughs> um, I feel really bad. <laughs> I think he might be lumbered with that nickname. <laughs> T2 forever. Yeah. Um, T2 forever. Yeah, it was a really fun panel actually. Um, you heard me sang again. I sang it. Yeah. Well, we got. We thought we'd warm everyone up by reintroducing them to our new theme song. <laughs> um, um, but you know. The room was wet, and it was. I was really nervous when we first started, and then and then you start going, and then you realise that everyone's there because they love the show, yep. and and then you're like, oh, this is a really nice place to be, and then we just all kind of shoulders dropped, and it was it was a lot of fun, but we touched on you know many 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 things on the panel today, but in terms of the show. Uh, we talked about the sort of big overall theme of season three, which is about identity. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, for Lucifer, his identity, um, he doesn't want it to be determined by his dad. Um, and he believes, obviously, his wings have come back from his dad. Yeah. And um, as hard as he believes his dad is pushing in that direction for him to be one thing, Lucifer is going to push even harder in the other direction to prove he isn't. So that probably means that he's going to end up being a little bit extra devilish. He's been through a lot. I was going to say he's been through hell, but you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So. <laughs> but I'm fine. But yeah, so it's understandable. He's kind of do that rebelling thing. Yeah, for sure. Yep. And are you, is, is that giving you some new exciting angles to take him on as, as you move in that direction for a bit? Well, I mean, I, it, I, mean, it, um, I hope it will do. I mean, we're very, very, uh, we're only four days into shooting, you know, so um, I've only got one script in front of me at the moment um, and loosely have an idea about where we're going. But, okay. Um, I think, uh, you know, I've, I've always thought of Lucifer as a bit of like like a wild animal. Um, and as much as we thought maybe he might be getting tamed, he still at any moment could lash out. And that's in him. And so I think that the, the, the dangerous side of Lucifer may well come to fruition in all this year. So towards the end of last season, Chloe and Lucifer were kind of having some trust issues popping up again, and just as he was about to come clean, he vanishes again. Mm-hmm. So how are they possibly going to have reconciliation, or will there still be tension towards the start of the season? Well, there, there will be, I mean, there will be tension. Um, <laughs> she, uh, Chloe and Lucifer's relationship, I mean, quite complicated now. Mm-hmm. You know, lots of stuff's happened, but ultimately he still hasn't really done what he did with Linda, which is show who he really is and I think he got to a point at the end of season 2 where he was like I think that's what I need to do I think I owe that to him um, doesn't go according to plan <laughs> doesn't go according to plan and then someone turns up that starts to take her attention away from him and that's our new lieutenant um, and one can only imagine how Lucifer feels about the detective being amorous towards someone else so yeah it's uh, I think, you know, we're going to have, obviously we always have a lot of fun on the show, but um, we're playing with new dynamics is always fun. Absolutely. Right? And, you know, Lucifer never thought Dan was his equal, ever. Um, but maybe he has been his equal on this, on this particular occasion. And how does he react to that? Is he looking forward to the dynamics between Charlotte, who's not mom, right, anymore? <laughs> I mean, that, uh, yeah, I am. I mean, um, <laughs> We've got some fun lined up for that as well. Excellent. I think Charlotte might take a bit of a shiny to Lucifer, which is... Oh, good lord. That but, would be awkward. You know, awkward. A bit awkward and freaky, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just a tap out of the hole. What we might call a bit of a head fuck. Um, yeah. Biblical there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so there's, there's that. And then, of course, you know, she doesn't remember Dan. And also, she doesn't... Charlotte doesn't... She doesn't know what's happened to her. She's kind of like... And, but she does know what's happened to her in terms of she has a feeling. Because her soul's been taken away from her. Temporarily. But what happened to that soul? Is a question. Yeah. It can go one of two ways. Where did it go? What happened while it was there? Yeah. So... There's lots of kind of like, there's new kind of, um, it's all new territory. Patricia this year, which is, which is great. Patricia's such a great actress. Oh, it's, it's so, so, it's so um, exciting for her to kind of like, you know, 
play a different character, but not Rhea. Are there still daddy issues, though? Is that still going to be the running oh. theme? They are muchos, muchos ingrained in this daddy issues. <laughs> um, with everything else going on. Yeah, with everything else going on. Bad. I mean, it's still, if he needs a, you know, if he needs a scapegoat, it's always going to be there. Okay. But um, I think we start to kind of, like, pick a bit more away at that issue mm. and find out why um, and... You know what is what what is it that Lucifer and his dad don't see eye to eye about or didn't see eye to eye about in the first place that created this whole thing? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. great. Good. Good. Thank you. Thank you.